What's going on, America? This is Kevin in Kevin's Corner. And I've been waiting to do this one. Michael Avocado. You know who I'm talking about. Michael Avenetti. The one guy who spent the last year or so chasing down the president like he was tracking down Bigfoot or something. You know, making cameo appearances on every liberal TV station. Yeah, just trotting him out. He's our savior. Michael Avenatti is going to be the one that just brings down President Trump with his porn star, Stormy Daniels. And see, what gets me about Michael Avocado is his arrogance. The man is extremely arrogant. I mean, the way that he he, he, he talks and, and, and the way that he he's, he's just disrespectful. You know, he has this arrogance about him like, I know what I'm doing. I do everything. Look, I don't mess up. I do things by the book. And... He brings out this last person to, I guess, destroy the president. Um, with, uh, no, not the president. It was to bring out, uh, to destroy Brett Kavanaugh. Okay. And he was not concerned about facts. He was not concerned about witnesses. He was not concerned about the law, due process, none of that stuff. And now his butt's in a big of a pickle, a big pickle. I'm talking a real big pickle. And yet, he wants the law now. He wants to go through due process. And then what's really strange about this is the left's hero now. You know, the one that they just held. You know, now nobody. Mum's the word. Most of the liberal stations that loved him, they're not even trotting him out anymore. They're not even mentioning it. They're not even covering it. And on the view, you it looked like they had a funeral. Yeah, this is um this is horrible. If it's if it's true, uh I guess we'd have to see. And with, with, with Kavanaugh, it was a different tone. Their whole attitude was like, it was true. You know, it was different. It was like, yeah, you know, you have to believe the victim. But now they're going, if it's true. Where did that come from? Since when do we have to say, if it's true, then I will make a decision on how I view it. No, according to Joy and, 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 and Whoopi and the rest of them, no. You're not allowed to do that. You're supposed to start off like it's true and you have to prove otherwise. So for them to now seem like they had a funeral because Michael Avenetti has been accused of domestic violence. Um, it shows how hypocritical they are, how biased they are and how everything they do is designed to destroy the, the, the right, the president, conservatism, all of that stuff. Everything is relative to their cause. That's it. And I don't see any of the major networks saying, let's bring him on and get his story. None of that stuff. Everybody is simply going, man, uh, let's not touch this. Let's just hope that it goes away. See, and see, Michael Avenetti came out. He did his little press conference. And, you know, and I am being exonerated. And I will show you that this allegations are fault. And I'm going, wow, it sounded kind of familiar. Sound like what Brett Carvin was saying. But I didn't do this stuff. Never did it. But no. Nobody wanted to hear that. You see? And see, that's the whole thing with liberalism. The same arguments that people support when they get it shoved down their throat through the media, through all these liberal TV pundits, that's the same stuff always turns around at some point and then comes down your street. It's a matter of time before somebody who's innocent on the left gets accused and they're going, I want due process. No, you didn't give it. So why do you get it? That's my whole point. But now, unlike the crooked, nasty, dirty, funky, deceptive, manipulating media and the Democrats, we on the right believe in due process. So even though we all know that Michael Avenatti is a creepy porn lawyer, he's a disgusting ambulance chaser. Yeah. Uh, but that still doesn't mean that he is guilty of domestic violence. But it will be interesting to see how he now relies heavily on due process and the law when it was totally different a couple weeks ago when he trotted out all of his flimsy uh, uh, people to throw out their accusations about Brett Kavanaugh. Um, yeah, he didn't want that stuff then. And it's also going to be interesting to see how the media responds to these accusations. It seems like the people who are responding to him are either neutral. They'll just report it. You know, Anderson Cooper mentioned it and moved on real quick. Oh, by the way, uh, Michael Avenatti was arrested uh, for domestic violence. Anyway, in other news, yeah, or or they're very cautious to make a judgment about it. It's like, well, 
we'll, we'll see what happens. And that's really disappointing if it's true. Yeah. Why wasn't it really disappointing if it was true if Judge Kavanaugh did these things? Hmm? They are corrupt. Period. So, um, I want to see what's going to happen with this. My gut tells me that Michael Avenatti, you know, I mean, he, he probably was involved in some shenanigans like this. Uh, I want to know where the Me Too people are. But nonetheless, we still have to wait for evidence. So let's see what happens. Anyway, that's my uh, thought on it um, and my take and my view as I've been checking it out these last couple of days and just wanting to see where all the liberals just going to fall out of the place. Let's get them. Let's get the pitchforks and let's light the torches and let's run up to the castle and drag him out and hang him. Nobody wanting to do that now. I'm saying, you know what I mean? Hey, hey, look, look, we don't know if the man did it or not. Just, everybody calm down now. Calm down when it's their people. Anyway, find me on Facebook. Find me on Twitter. Check me out. Wednesday nights, 7.30, live on YouTube. Also on my radio blog talk show. Um, and make sure that you check out Extreme Tees, my sponsor. Link is in the bottom. They're having some Christmas specials. If you want to support Kevin and Kevin's Corner, there's links in the bottom to do that as well. Um, and make sure you hit like, share, and subscribe. God bless you. We'll see you next time in Kevin's Corner.